diversions await. Gamble in our casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you and cater to your every whim. So if life's worries have weighed you down, if you need an escape from your troubles, or if you just need an opportunity to begin again, join us. Let go and leave the world behind at the Sierra Madre Grand Opening this October. We'll be waiting. Has your life taken a turn? Interesting. Alright, what's up guys, Putty here and welcome back to the Wasteland. In the last episode we made it to the 188 trading post. And in this episode we're going to be heading to Boulder City. Just thought I'd play that. Notice the radio, you know, Sierra Madre broadcast, you know. Just a bit interested, intrigued, we haven't been playing the radio much. I turned it on, that popped up, freaked the living shit out of me, no clue what that is. But, sounds interesting. Uh, along with the message, by the way, it was a signal to a bunker. Uh... Was it was um, the bunker near Camp Forlorn Hope? Apparently, uh, the Sierra Madre is in there. I I have no clue. I guess we'll check that out when we have the time. So in this episode, we are going to head towards Boulder City. As you could see back there, by the way, Boone has for some insane reason traveled to the 188 Stop and Shop. Uh, no, no, I'm outside of NCR's range. Um, tra uh, Boone for some reason has traveled to the 188 trading post. Uh, I slept there like for two nights and then he, he came to me and initiated a dialogue saying, is it time? And I said, no. And then he's just staying there. So hopefully that won't cause any glitches with Boone because God, he's one of my favorite companions and we've almost finished his quest actually, as surprising as that sounds. Oh my God, how close to NCR range do I have to be? I mean, come on, you have a camp over there. And over there. And down there. There we go. You're gonna stick around, right, Trooper? I assume so. Oh well. Well, we've called for Ranger support. He'll stay. He'll show up eventually. Wait. You're kidding me, right? <sighs> NCR Rangers. This is how good they are. <laughs> Anyway, <laughs> I, I was listening then because I swear I could hear uh, the radio playing. I get really paranoid about copyrighted music. Um, not because, you know, of monetization or anything. I just don't like my... I don't like copyrighted music. Yeah, Even... I love the radio in this game. Uh, don't worry. And just, to be honest, like a couple of times in this series already, the radio has been accidentally on in the background and I've just left it there because I'm perfectly happy uh, leaving it there here and now. Uh, here and now. Here and then. Here and there, because I do like it and it adds atmosphere to the game. It's just wherever possible, I'm going to try and avoid it in order to get my channel safe. Basically, keep my keep my copyright strikes to a minimum, even if uh, I do win the copyright disputes. Because I mean, it's video game music should be alright, but uh, I'll be respectful. The music is pretty damn well known, it's not like it's video game composed, it's not like it's meaty, it's not anything like that. This is proper like 19, I, I don't even know what the era is, but 50s to 90s kind of music there. Very broad, but you know. Alright. Boulder City. What does that sign say? Home of the Eagles. Is that like a sports team? I don't see a stadium anywhere around here. Boulder City train station. God, the game's getting very framey as we discover new areas. Uh, as you guys probably are aware Ranger over the, at the ready. You finally oh, made it. Go. So did a bark scorpion. <laughs> oh god, we're building a party here. See, see guys, you don't need the multiple companions mod to build a party. You just need the NCR uh, emergency radio. Okay. Terminal. Fanatics. Okay, that was not as difficult as I thought it might be. Alright, disengage the lock on the safe. Sure. Alright. Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Oh god. Either the game's getting framey because of my... I've called in too much NCR support, 
or uh, the game's getting framey because we're discovering new areas. As you guys are aware, we've been visiting a lot of already discovered areas in the last few parts, so it wouldn't surprise me if the game's like, oh shit, Paddy, you haven't discovered somewhere new in like 10 episodes, what the hell's going on here? So, yeah. Let's try and drink some Sunset Sarsaparilla. I'm still trying to get that last bottle cap. God damn it. Nope, not yet. One away. It doesn't even matter, like, by the time we get to the place where you can finish this quest, um, I'll definitely have 40, almost 100% about that. But, um... Trooper, where are you going? Oh, You see being intimidated by the ranger? I think he might be. Oh, well, I prefer having the damn ranger. What's up, girl? Ranger at the ready. Indeed. Indeed. Don't even know why they give you the option to give you a trooper. Maybe it recharges at a faster rate, but you know, you always you always want the ranger. Kill the birds. Oh, what's this? On this spot, in the year 2277, rangers and soldiers of the New California Republic turned back the forces of Caesar's Legion. During the Battle of Hoover Dam, over 100 men and women gave their lives on Nevada soil to defend local civilians and the principles of the Republic. May this humble stone be an enduring memorial to their valor and sacrifice. Hello. Bit over-exaggerated, don't you think? I mean, it, it was to defend the Hoover Dam, not to... Uh... Yeah, I won't, I won't mock. I won't mock. I won't mock. What are you doing here, Private Kowalski? You here to pay your respects to? What's this memorial? Actually, we know what the memorial is. Where are you normally stationed? Camp McCarran, but I'm on leave at the moment. Heading back to California to see my folks. I'm supposed to join up with a caravan that's heading that way up at the 188. But they're not due to arrive for a while yet. <laughs> that, that stone is aliasing and unaliasing as we speak. What is the memorial, anyway? It commemorates the Battle of Hoover Dam. The Rangers lured the best of Caesar's Legion into Boulder City, then blew the whole town up. The NCR still lost a bunch of troops in the fighting, though. My older brother sacrificed himself, so they could evacuate some of the wounded. Brave man, sorry to hear that. Don't worry about it. No problem. See you. Bye. Yeah. Good to know there are some very brave members of the NCR as opposed to, uh... Yeah, the leaders, who seem like a bunch of dicks at the moment, from what I've heard anyway, but, you know. Oh, well, this place is depressing. <laughs> Nelson will serve as example. We'll bleed the ground red with anyone who opposes our peace efforts. I assume you're on Sierra, then? A customer. Not many people come into Boulder City these days. Show me what you... No, tell me about Boulder City. Come on. Most of the town is rubble. Destroyed during the Battle of Hoover Dam. And the only other thing around here is the concrete mixing yard. What's the concrete used for? The NCR has been constructing bunkers up and down the river. From what I've heard, it's a little late for that. Travelers over at the 188, just up the road, said that the Legion has overrun a couple of towns to the south. You would be wrong. <laughs> you know, Nipton's down, yeah, but the NCR is never protecting that. And now Prim's are fully defended, I mean, Novak's never been Legion to begin with, Nelson's back in NCR hands, I mean, Searchlight's back in NCR hands, or at least as much as it'll ever be, I mean, uh, the NCR are pretty damn well in control in the south now. Anyway, well, where does the concrete come from? Most of the limestone comes from Quarry Junction out west, but I hear some death claws overran the quarry. With no work to be had, all the workers around here have wandered off. I'm the only one left in town. Oh, Quarry Junction. God, we're not going there anytime soon. Show me what you have for sale. What can I get you? How about... Some vodka, because I am currently addicted. Thank you. Pleasure doing business. I have so many caps. <laughs> well, I guess that's what happens when you do so much in the early game. You end up getting quite a few caps. I've got too many. Uh-oh. Okay. He seems fine with me breaking in here. Ew. Would you look at that? I could use the karma drop. I don't like the oh <gasps> sunset sarsaparilla star bottle cap. Forty, yay! 
40 Sunset Sarsaparilla Star Bottle Caps. That is the first time in the game, legitimately. I pro I honestly, I'm telling the truth here. This is the only time playing this game that I've actually collected 40 of the things. God. This is my favorite game of all time, and I couldn't even collect the Star Bottle Caps. It's good I didn't look hard enough for them, to be honest with you. But still, yes, 40 of them. Ooh, it's a proud day for Putty as his game freaking freezes again. Console la 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 Anyway. Anyway. What's up, dude? We've got a situation with some great cons right now. The Brass of McCarran has ordered me to lock down the ruins until it's been resolved. What's going on with the Great Cons? One of my patrols was on its way back from Novak when it came under fire from the Great Cons. They radioed for reinforcements, but instead of waiting for us, they chased the Cons into the ruins where they were caught in a crossfire. No deaths, but not all the squad got out. The Cons have Private Ackerman and Private Gilbert as hostages. The Great Cons... The Great Cons... <laughs> the Great Cons might have something of mine. A platinum chip. Once the Great Cons have been killed or captured, you're welcome to retrieve any property they've taken from you. I may be able to negotiate a deal with the Great Cons. Normally I'd turn you down since I have no idea who you are. But considering that the hostages are as good as dead when we attack... Alright. I'm going to give you a chance to talk to the Great Cons. Their leader is a man named Jessup. If we hear shooting, we'll be coming in. But it'll probably be too late for you. I understand. Good luck. Thank you. Quest added Boulder City Showdown. I remember the name of the quest because I'm a nerd with this game. But, um, I, you didn't see it, so I thought I'd just mention that the quest that just got added is the quest called Boulder City Showdown. Uh, oh, there you go. Hello, NCR. Meet with Jessup, leader of the Great Cons. Just survey the area for a second. What the hell is going on here? So, the cons. <laughs> So the great cons, you're hiding behind a bus, t bus stop. I mean, so I'd say if I were to sneak up behind hey. her, since she's the only one guarding the blatty hostages, nah, not gonna bother, not even gonna bother. Although this bitch might be a problem. <laughs> anyway, great con hideout. If you start a fight, you can't finish. Now, not gonna bother reading the tooltips. What the hell? You're that courier Benny wasted back in Good Springs. You're supposed to be dead. I'm a ghost, here to haunt you! Ooh. Alright, quit fucking around. You survived and you tracked us down. What now? Where's the platinum chip? Don't have it. Benny stole it right before he stabbed us in the back. He's probably back at the strip by now, laughing at me. What do you... I want some more answers. Yeah? On what? What can you tell me about Benny? He's one of the chairmen, big shots that run the Topps Casino in New Vegas. A friend from the city contacted me with info on a big job. I should have known that the caps were too good to be true, but there was still no way I could pass up the chance. Why did Benny betray you? He's a snake, that's why. He owed us the rest of the pay for the job, so maybe he didn't want to pay up. What do you know about the platinum chip? It's just a big fancy poker chip, as far as I know. I don't know why anyone would make one out of platinum, though. Okay, let's talk about something else. Fine. Let's settle things with the NCR. What's to negotiate? The NCR backs off, we walk out of here, nobody gets hurt. Free the hostages now, and I'll have NCR escort you out of their territory. I can't believe I'm doing this. But alright, the hostages can go. The NCR had better keep their end of the deal, though. Here, a souvenir for you. It's Benny's lighter. Shove it up his ass when you catch up with him. I'll be sure to do that. Goodbye. Eh, yeah, go on. <laughs> Alright, cons. Have a bit more respect, yeah? I'm the guy who just negotiate. Well, I guess they could have just shot their way out of here and nothing would have changed. Whoa, what happened to McMurphy? Was that the guy, the other guy in the opening cutscene? I think it was. Didn't even need to turn off my light there. Again, I could use the karma penalty, honestly. I tend to be very good in this game, because, you know, that's just how I like to resolve things in very good ways. But, um, you know, I prefer to be a neutral character by definition, but just the actions I tend to take usually end up by me going on the very good side, which... 
uh, I'm not a fan of personally, but oh uh, well, I end up being very good. I usually find my way to neutral eventually. Although I am a Vegas legend right now. Okay, fair enough, fair enough. We got information on Benny, and now we're about to free some great cons, as well as some NCR hostages, of course. Hopefully, we'll get everyone happy with us. We have been waiting for an NCR liked reputation for quite some time now. Quite frankly, I'm starting to get annoyed. I'm glad you're able to get my people freed, but there's a new problem. I just got orders to take out the Great Khans, hostages or not. Great Khans that let the hostages go in exchange for their freedom. My hands are tied. I can't go against orders, can I? If you have any integrity, then you'll honor the deal. You're right. The Great Khans are free to go. Liked by the NCR. Accepted by the Great Khans. Lovely. Lovely, lovely, lovely. Well, Muradam is in that direction. We have, n I've got no desire to go there quite yet. But uh, yeah, that is Boulder City Showdown. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, we are going to end the episode off here. Again, quite a short one. I think you guys might be a bit grateful for that, considering the talk you we had in the last episode. But in the next part, oh look, you can see the fort from here, or is that the Legat? Uh, the Legat camp. I can't tell. One sec, I will check. I think that might be the Legate Camp. Yeah, that's definitely the Legate Camp instead of the fort. The fort is... Actually, I think that's where the fort is. I might be wrong, though. Uh, yeah, so, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we're going to be heading towards Camp Golf. I'll see you guys then.